Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to use grief prevention at Max Gamer. We have a special wand tool and it is a stick. Now, what grief prevention is, is it lets you define a custom area uh, that is protected from grief. So what you do is you grab your stick, you get a message here saying how many blocks you've got, then you right click on the one spot, this is the, this is the first corner, and then you go to the other spot, and you right click it. Now you can see it's popped up with a border showing me what land is protected. This is from ground height to up in the sky to the very highest block. Uh, it doesn't automatically protect straight down to the very bedrock. Um, what you actually have to do to get it to mine to, uh, to protect down there is you have to mine all the way down to where you want to protect it. This is just so that people don't get interrupted mining normally. Um, now the next thing is this is a challenge server. We like PvP, we like creeping, we like stealing. Um, but we do think you should get an opportunity to protect yourself for a price. Now, you get 300 claim blocks uh, to start off with, which isn't a lot. And then you get another 300 for every hour that you play. Um, so, now back to the stealing. Uh, you'll notice that I have a locket, locket here. Uh, which basically means that nobody else can access this chest. Uh, what it actually does is it costs me to uh, lock chests. Like if I were to uh, lock this furnace, then it would cost me $150. Now nobody else can access this furnace. Alright? So that is a big element. So that's how you protect your chests. But you cannot protect your chests if they are not in your claim zone. So if I had an ordinary chest over here I, and I tried to protect it I would not be able to do that. Now I'm going to prove to you that this house is pretty much griefer safe. I will be back on Mr. Grumpy Kills. Okay so I'm back and here we go. I'm going to try and grief. It doesn't really work. I can steal some of the front yard but that's about it because I haven't claimed that. Um, I can try and nail, nail the walls. I can try and take down the door, whatever, it just doesn't work. Uh, if I want, I try. Yeah. The other thing is, I cannot open the chests. Um, I cannot open this, but you'll notice this one is not protected, but the other two are, so I can open this. I, if, if I were to leave something in here, I could still steal from it. I can't break it, but I can still steal from it. Now, the other thing is, uh, expanding part two. So this is a bit of a mess here. Uh, rule of thumb, if you like your yard, claim it. Um, otherwise people can steal from it and grieve it, whatever. Just, yeah. Anyway, um, to resize your land, you right click on the glowstone with your stick and then you move over here. Uh, say I want the corner over here, and then I right click there. Now you notice the corner's over there and now this land is all part of mine. So, um, now Mr. Grumpy Gills cannot grief my garden either. Um, if I wanted to expand it out the front, because I'm sick of him griefing my lawn, there we go. My lawn is now protected as well. So, Mr. Grumpy Gills back here, and I can't break in here anymore. I can still grief over here though, because, believe it or not, but... That is a protected area, right here, but not here. Thanks for watching, and good luck in game. Don't forget to lock your chests.